The government is going to study the effects of radiation on people affected by the accident at the plant. Fukushima residents have been expressing concerns over possible genetic effects from radioactive substances. The Environment Ministry will conduct blood and other tests in the next fiscal year. Ministry officials say they'll work with Fukushima Medical University and research institutions. Their first priority will be to test children. The health of Fukushima residents needs to be monitored for more than 50 years. No shit. Understanding the influence of radiation on the genetic level will help prepare us for the future. Workers say water levels inside reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have fallen below the necessary level twice. They say there is no immediate threat to safety. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company found the coolant levels of reactor, three reactors fell on Thursday to about 10 percent below what's necessary. They added more water to return levels to normal. TEPCO officials again noticed the water fell below standard and again they filled up the reactors. They suspect something may be wrong with two pumps on higher ground that sent decontaminated water back in. They're now using spare pumps. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda declared last December that all the plant's reactors were in a stable condition. The International Atomic Energy Agency has agreed to help Fukushima Prefecture rebuild itself. The International Atomic Energy Agency has agreed to help Fukushima Prefecture rebuild itself. It's another bullshit experiment. The International Atomic Energy Agency has agreed to help Fukushima Prefecture rebuild itself after last year's nuclear accident. Agency staff will assist with decontamination measures and health checks. IAEA Director General Yukia Amano met Fukushima Governor Yuhei Sato at the agency's headquarters in Vienna on Friday. Sato asked for help with efforts to deal with the damage from the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The IAEA chief said his agency will send staff and foreign experts to Fukushima. He said the problem is not a local one, but global. <laughs> The IAEA support will bring a sense of security to Fukushima residents. We expect we'll be able to carry out a joint project with the IAEA while consulting with experts from around the world. Agency and prefectural officials plan to draw up a detailed plan of action as soon as possible. Childhood dreams are too often just that, fleeting passions that are forgotten with time. But here's one man who never let go. Fukushima officials are looking for investors to help the prefecture's recovery from last year's disasters. Local government leaders flew to Germany to seek businesses willing to back their latest projects. The officials held an event in Dusseldorf to promote investment in renewable energy. Governor Yuhei Sato introduced a plan to build a research facility for wind and solar power. I hope you will support Fukushima as it pursues its recovery. His achievement is a dream that... About 100 officials from German and Japanese companies attended the event. Many expressed interest in a solar power project in Fukushima's Kawauchi village. It's being built by German and Japanese firms. We're positive about investing in Japan. They recently introduced a system requiring power companies to buy renewable energy at fixed rates. So there's lots of potential for the industry to grow. Before the event, Governor Sato inspected a decommissioned nuclear power plant in western Germany. He was briefed on the decommission process and the problems the engineers encountered. And today stokes the imaginations of thousands. Japanese officials want to make sure that people isolated by disasters have enough to eat and drink. The Agriculture Ministry has included proposals for emergencies in a draft of new food security guidelines. Survivors of last year's March 11th disaster had a pretty hard time 
finding food and water because of the quake and tsunami it had uh, crippled transportation networks. The ministry officials adopted a plan in the new guidelines to deal with the situation for the first time. The general plan calls on national and local governments to cooperate with the private sector to create backup distribution networks. It also says greater efforts should be made to advise households to store food. The emergency guidelines call on farmers near disaster areas to send food aid even if it doesn't meet the usual standards for shipment. Even if it doesn't meet the usual standards for shipment. They also call on ports and airports to enhance quarantine systems to facilitate food imports. The ministry plans to finalize the guidelines as early as next month. Welcome back and we are joined again with Tim Alexander with Chris Harris. Chris, you've got some amazing reports to tell us uh, what's going on, what's happening. Well, we did discuss last week about whether uh, they actually pulled the two new fuel assemblies from the Fukushima Unit 4 spent fuel pool. Actually, actually, it's not a spent fuel pool. They're in, it's a, in their own, their own uh, storage area. Uh, so it wasn't really, the, it wasn't indicative of what's going on in the spent fuel pool. That's where you store new fuel. The IAEA is also calling for renewed monitoring of North Korea's nuclear program. It says it concerned about recent construction activities at a nuclear complex in Yongbyon, where a light water nuclear reactor is being built. The IAEA says satellite images show a dome has been built over one of the buildings in the complex. They say this indicates the presence of components such as a reactor inside the building. Experts say once the light water reactor goes online, it could be used to extract plutonium from spent nuclear fuel. IAEA officials were allowed to inspect the Nyonbyon complex following the 2007 agreement reached during six-party talks on the North's nuclear program, but they were ordered to leave the country in 2009. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad read out the leader's closing statement. The statement says all nations should have the right to develop nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. It criticizes U.S. leaders for their economic sanctions on Syria.
and it denounces Israel's occupation of the Palestinian territories. Ahmadinejad urged the leaders of the non-aligned countries to work together to fundamentally change the international order. The leaders plan to meet again in Venezuela in 2015. I think it's important to laugh at these people as much as fear them. Um, they are pathetic. They are laughable. They say ridiculous things um, that are just so far out there that if they were said in any other context, people would be laughing at them. But because they're the government, it's it's supposed to be taken seriously. Oh, oh, pizza is a vegetable now. Oh, OK. Tell me more, Mr. Government. The government is going to study the effects of radiation on people affected by the accident at the plant. Fukushima residents have been expressing concerns over possible genetic effects from radioactive substances. The Environment Ministry will conduct blood and other tests in the next fiscal year. Ministry officials say they'll work with Fukushima Medical University and research institutions. Their first priority will be to test children. The health of Fukushima residents needs to be monitored for more than 50 years. Understanding the influence of radiation on the genetic level will help prepare us for the future.